Okay, hi, welcome. Well, this is, who's ever watching anyway, um, this is my first video, and it's just a speed build on a starter home I made for just a little let's play I thought I'd make, seeing as, I, I don't know, you know, if this is the start of something I do, I might as well make a whole thing out of it. Um... I don't know what name I'm choosing for this channel yet, but, um, I'd rather not tell you my real name, so, I'm kinda, I, I'm kinda thinking Vintage Sims, I, I don't know if that name's taken yet, but, um, uh, I'm making this house in San Sequoia, which is the new world that came with Growing Together Pack, yes, yes, that, um, I really, really like all the stuff that came with this, it, um, it's very craftsman, and some of it's very modern at the same time, which are definitely two of my, my favorite kind of build styles. Um, I really like that homely, normal family look. Not that really, you know, any family's normal, but, you know, um, I'm starting off with one sim. I, I might do two. I haven't really made them yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to make it after this, um, but... This is my first video, so you have to be nice to me. Um, I'm just, right now, it looks like I'm just moving it back. I, th this lot, the, a lot of the lots in this world are kind of strange. Um, they're very rectangular, so instead of doing like a normal front and back of a house, you have like side and side <laughs> and then middle where the house usually is. I, I'm not extremely adventurous, honestly, when it comes to building. I find <laughs> I'm very boring and normal. Um, I would say that I like building a bit more, but I, I don't really know. Um, the, usually this is just kind of how I do it, uh, where I just kind of put the normal basic stuff and, and kind of try to decorate. Obviously, because this is a starter at home, I only had like 17 simoleons, 17,000 simoleons to do anything. But I tried to make it a little bit unique. Um, I think I put this in the Hopewell Hills area. I, I don't fully remember, know what like the neighborhoods are called. But um, I put like a little chimney. I <laughs> I tried, okay. Um, it's just, uh, you know... I really love this game, and I wanted to try to share it with other people who I know probably love it as well. It's just, um, I don't know. I, I just got, like, the inclination one day to just be like, I'm gonna, because I think I'm so great, I'm gonna videotape <laughs> what I'm doing, and I'm gonna show it to other people, or hopefully if anyone watches this. <laughs> But you have to be nice to me, because I'm trying my best, and yeah. See, I usually don't do this. Um, I was going for, just back to the house, I, I was going for a more closed uh, vibe, just because I think I kind of want to build onto this house as I play. Uh, it's very, it's very beige, and I kind of like that. Because I feel like once you first move into a house, right, it's very boring and bland and you don't really have, you don't really have much to do with it. So I just kind of, I'm just putting it as boring. I was going to do a bathtub at first and then I thought it was just, and no, I hate bathtubs. <laughs> I find them very like inefficient. My sim has place to be. I can't, it has, she has places to be. She can't just like. Or they, sorry. They have places to be. <laughs> they can't just be, like, bathing and taking a whole sim hour just to get clean. But I was kind of shocked that the mirror for the bathroom is less than the usual mirror I'd use. I was going to do this plant also in the bathroom at first, and then I just thought it was kind of a waste of money to put a big plant in there. So I ended up taking that out later, but... I did, like, a cute, I saw this little cute spot, and I thought it would be a really cute, like, dining nook, because I honestly, weirdly enough, I'm so boring when I start off. I don't do, like, any dining rooms or anything. It's usually just, like, a bed, a kitchen, and a, uh, and, a, like, a computer or something. Um, so, I, I just wanted everything to seem very, like, normal and uniform, like, a, just, just a place where you usually, how it would usually look, right, in just a normal starting house. But as I go on, I think I want 
to make it just a bit larger like at least give it two stories I think this house could definitely have an extra story maybe expand a little bit outwards but I did try to use most of the new pack just because it I really like it weirdly enough I think the gameplay is fine I, I think it's okay I don't love that you had to buy this pack to actually have any kind of playing like to actually be able to play the new infants um I think this pack came out like almost a month ago but um I just haven't played on it very much I've been busy with other games and my life <laughs> but I I really do like it I don't think it's my favorite of the packs weirdly enough I think cats and dogs are is my favorite I I just like the the style of Brindle and Brindleton Bay. I love the, like, the beautiful, beautiful, like, beach and stuff. It's just, it's really pretty. Um, <clears throat> right now I'm doing the living room. I put the computer, weirdly enough, in, like, the kitchen and dining area. Or, like, around there, there's, like, this big window that I put there. So I decided to do that. In here, I did more of, like, a cute sitting room. Um, I was gonna do a couple more plants, but, like, just the budget and stuff. I can't over-decorate, right? Sadly, I had to go with like one of the cheapest beds. I <laughs> hate that bed. I'll probably end up changing it as soon as possible. Um, it's it's fine. It fit. It did its job. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's it is what it is. <laughs> but I I I usually try to put um carpets and stuff in bedrooms like this and and like try to add some decoration stuff that would be in a home right I don't know if those paintings were right but I think they're fine I put in an easel just to have like more skill building stuff and then I felt like the front area had like no decoration so I put a little carpet um the outside's pretty plain too I think I add a tree later um <clears throat> probably soon but it's mostly going around adding small decorations now, just stuff that, like, would be in a home, a new home. I was going to add curtains, but I, then I didn't really think I had kind of the budget for that. I just added this because it looked, that tree looks just like it works, right? So it just makes sense. And then I went out around the sides, and I was, oh my god, my game lagged. I was <laughs> just making it have a bit more definition. And then I was adding some planter pots because I never really do that. And it just kind of made sense to do that. Um, yeah, I'll go into game and I'll, I'll show you around the house in a bit. And I'll see you then. Okay, so I'm back in the game now. And I was right. I did put it in Hopewell Hills. Um, just on 23 Eucalyptus Lane. And... <clears throat> we'll go into build mode. Um, it's a really small house, so there's not really much to show. Um, we'll see it more as I play through it. Let's just put it on the later light. I feel like I definitely could have done more in the front wise. It just feels like I, I don't think I could afford to do more because I feel like I did this like a little larger than I usually do. I did add like small accents. There's a garbage can, of course, because you do need that. There's the tree. I made sure to use windows everywhere because I hate basically seeing just any wall without a window. And let's go in, I guess. Um, there's really nothing on the walls, really. I there's some like paintings here and there, of course. I think you already saw it in like the speed build, but here's the bedroom. I I chose to do this um what is it called closet I chose to do this closet just because it was it was cheap and I honestly I never really use it um I still think I should not have used these ones you know what no I'm sticking with it I'm I'm gonna deal with it <laughs> um I'll deal with it the next time I have to change the house around um but yeah, I just put like a just the cheapest computer on it. Honestly, it it just made sense. Uh, here's the dining room. I wasn't too sure what on earth I was gonna put here, uh. So I just decided to leave it. Um, you know, extra space is always nice. I could always put like an island or something. I I could make the entrance a bit smaller. Honestly, I could definitely do that, and add a little bit more room in oops, in the, uh, <laughs> in the, the kitchen and stuff for that, 
there's nothing really in the backyard. I was kind of debating on putting like a cute little path over here or something. I could do that later. Add more trees maybe. Um, it's just, yeah. I'm not sure who I'm going to start with in this. I'm going to make Sims later. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking like two Sims that are maybe like partners just because there is only one bedroom so it would make sense. And we can start with them. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If anyone's there, unless I'm just talking to the void, it it's really nice to try and show my passion to other people. And hopefully they like this. Hopefully you like this. I hope you like this. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, bye. Have a wonderful, amazing day. I love you. <laughs>